I need to speak to you. I don't think you realize where they're coming from, so I need to speak to you. Where what's coming from? Where the food you ordered is coming from. I don't think you realize the distance that it's come from, because then you would never actually have given what you gave. <laughs> How you can leave it, thank you. How you can leave it? Um, no, I can speak to you, actually. I'm sorry? I need to speak to you. I don't think you realize where they're coming from, so I need to speak to you. Where what's coming from? Where the food you ordered is coming from, I don't think you realize the distance that it's come from, because then you would never actually have given what you gave. So I think you can come and see face to face. Because I drove 40 minutes, I drove 40 minutes, and it was extremely far, and I got it to you early. So I don't think you realize where you work from. I'm not, I don't understand. Um, well, I think it's from where? From the restaurant that you ordered from. Do you realize how far it is? Do you realize you ordered from Carmack and you're in Smithtown? That's a, that's a 15, 20 minute drive. It's not. You need to try to drive it. I just drove it. It's 40 minutes. It's, it's 12 and a half miles. So I don't think you realize how far it is. So what do you have to pick up if you think it's that far? I, they don't let us know how far, so I think you need to adjust your tip to make it right. How much is the tip? You gave an $8 tip. What the hell are you looking for? I gave an $8. Okay, I'm going to bring the food back. I'm going to bring the food back. Okay. Okay. Are you fucking kidding? $8? That's a lot. 40 minutes it took her to get her? Okay. Did y'all think I was lying to y'all? I told y'all she was the most entitled delivery driver I've ever seen in my life. What would make you think that after somebody gave you $8, that you would go up, basically knock on a door, and tell them that you want to talk to them about their tip because they must not know where their food coming from. Uh. I ordered this food from DoorDash or wherever the heck I, it tells me how far I am from the restaurant. I know where I ordered this food from. You got an $8 tip. If you stop running your mouth and get to the next job, you could probably make $15, $16 an hour. But it's, it's not our responsibility to make sure that you earn 2025 as a customer. I did the little joint on, uh, on tipping culture and how it's out of control. And we pretty much all agreed on that one that this whole tipping thing is out of control. And she living proof right there with that whole entitled attitude like somebody owed you more money. $8 was a good tip. You heard my man at the end of the video through the door like how much was the tip? eight dollars it sound like my man wanted to come through the ring doorbell and smack the crap out of it like i gave you eight dollars if you work in these delivery jobs or you work in service or you work in anything that depends on the generosity of the public you got to realize that you are at the hands of the generosity of the public so some days it's going to work out for you you're going to have more than you can possibly dream of or need for that day. Then some days it's not going to work out. That's called working for tips. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to start crossing that line and telling somebody what they supposed to be giving you or what they owe you or counting other people's money. That was a small bag that she walked back to the car with. So if it had to be about uh, 
if he's going regular 15 percent then that means it was 55 dollars worth of food in that bag about 54 dollars 53.33 to be exact it was 53 dollars and 33 cent worth of food in that bag for for an eight dollar tip so if it wasn't 53 dollars worth of food in that bag my man had gave you extra on the 15 to 20 percent and just rounded up the lookout when we tip we tip in 15 to 20 all the extra how far you came and this that we have nothing to do with that so me i would have told you to kick rocks in and forget that man and all she is all she is is making it harder on doordash or whatever app she was using because of unprofessionalism and she's making it harder on everybody else in the service industry because we're seeing more and more of this type of attitude. And that's the type of attitude that got people like, you know what? I ain't tipping no more. You know what? I'm a tip to bare minimum. You know what? I'm a stiff one. If you notice, a whole lot more people are on that train right now because people are tired of the begging. They're tired of being bombarded. The tired of you wanting something and you didn't give that level of service that deserves a warranted a tip of the magnitude that you want but y'all tell me how y'all feel about it in the comment section i think she was bugging she was out of order out of line y'all might feel different but i think i'm pretty uh pretty standing firm on this one i really can't see where it's susceptible i don't care where you roll from if you get back on your hustle and get another order on the way back, then you made a little 16, 15 dollars that hour. But standing at the man door demanding more money, that's just a horrible look every time. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it in the comments section. Y'all heard how I feel about it. I appreciate everybody for stopping through. Hit that like, subscribe button for me. If you made it to this point in the video, you my MVP. It was a stone groove, my man. And I'm out of here, y'all.